We always thought this was going to be a three-horse race, and it's, it's proving to be that way. Uh, Liverpool, obviously, comfortable winners tonight against Red Star mm. Belgrade, Stevie. They have to go to Red Star next. Uh, You've got to be happy with where they're sitting at the moment, top of the group, with the destiny in their own hands. Well, it's hard, it's hard to see. Or it's, hard, it's hard to see how they don't get another three points against Red Star. That, yeah. that means they, they will absolutely be in the driving seat with nine points. Uh, and again, you're sitting here thinking, if they have to go to PSG and get a result, you know they can. Yeah. If they have to beat Napoli at home, you know they can. But they probably won't have to do either of those things because PSG and Napoli are going to lose points um, in the next yeah. game. So Liverpool, 100%. Depending on what, what happens when they go to Belgrade, and I'm expect, I, I would expect Liverpool to win. I can't believe Napoli dropped points there, but, but they yeah. did. I expect Liverpool to win there. They, depending on what happens in between the, in the Napoli PSG game, Liverpool could go to Paris and potentially knock them out of this competition. Mm. I mean, that's how tight this group is, and that's how perilous the position is for Paris Saint Germain if Liverpool win yeah. in Belgrade. Are there still some twists and turns to come in this group? A, a, a whole lot of twists and turns and, and twists that we, we didn't see coming. Now, you look at this PSG team, when, when the draw is made, you think they're favourites to, to win the group just by matter of the names that they put on the team sheet. Yeah, they now go away from home, concede three. They concede two at home against, against the, the likely opponents in finishing in the top three. And as poor as they've been defensively, I just feel that at times, well, today Mbappe didn't have his shooting boots on. He, he can be a whole lot better. And for me, you only see Neymar in spells. They've got to tighten up defensively because they can't just keep scoring goals late on in a hope to get yeah. a point. Maka, obviously, it was, it was fairly straightforward for Liverpool at, at home today. What's your degree yeah. of comfort with where they now sit in, in Group C? Well, I, like most people, to be honest, Adrian, and, and what the lads have, have said, you can care. You know, they, they should beat Belgrade over there, away from home. The way they beat them today, they beat them really comfortably. It shouldn't be a problem over there, but they have to be professional. And then, you know, they should qualify. The, the, the better sides, you'd always fancy them to win at home against Napoli if it come to that. You'd always fancy them to get a result in Paris if it come to that. You know, Paris Saint-Germain are, are the big team. They can be devastating at times, particularly at home. It's their away form and their lack of drive sometimes. That is the big question. They have to find something when they go to Napoli to get a result over there. Or, they, as I said before, they, they're going to be out. That's mm. going to be the big shock because if they go out in the group stages, there's going to be huge repercussions in Paris. There will be. Yeah. Liverpool could set a mark in this group. They could really put a mark down. If you think back to last year when they got to the final, think back to the group stages. By this, camp, by this competition standards, it was a pretty easy group they were in, right? So they've got a, they've got a nice track uh, to get through initially. You look at this, this is the, this is the group, to, this is the group uh, mm. that everybody wants to see, but nobody wants to be in because of the three teams. And if they are to, to top this group and, and maybe potentially knock PSG out, and they're still going well in the Premier League, mm. there's no better start to the season than that. Gab, uh, what's your sense of the dynamics now moving forward, the last three games in, in Group C? My sense is that you're all extremely confident uh, about about Liverpool's chances. Um, well, the top I, I don't of the league, know. and they're going to be next. Yes, Liverpool. I, well, <clears throat> that, 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 that's fine. That, so they go and they win in Belgrade, mm -hmm. and they're on nine points. But, uh, you know, equally, yes, you could say, well, you'd fancy them to beat PSG because, you know what, you still have to go and play these games. And I, I wouldn't be 100%. I also think it's really important to finish top of the group. Now, the performance today was great. Um, I think it was inevitable after, if you, if you look at the run of games that Liverpool had early in the season, I think Jurgen Klopp expected a dip. That dip came. If you were to go back and say, you know, over the last five, six games, uh, you know, how often have Liverpool actually played well? Uh, maybe the second half against Chelsea. Um, arguably the, the, the Man City the, game. Hold on a uh, second, you know Gab. You're forgetting um, something. You're forgetting something that's really important here. You're throwing in, well, they haven't played particularly well. I'll tell you what, PSG haven't played particularly well, but guess what? They're not winning games. It's about winning games. And, and if you look at this group, Liverpool well, and Napoli are miles ahead as a team. Maybe not individually, but Liverpool and Napoli are miles ahead of PSG as far as a team plays. If the front three for, for PSG don't perform then you know what? I ain't putting a penny on either of them against Liverpool you know, or Napoli in the upcoming well, games. Listen, because that's what they're all about. They ain't a team, they're individuals. 
Stevie, if you look at the way, and I appreciate you're going to say, well, but it's only Ligue 1. Yeah, it's only Ligue 1. But PSG have actually played really well, and they've played really well as a team uh, in, 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 in France for the, past, for, for the past four or five games. And it really looked as if Thomas Tuchel had turned the corner. Now, tonight, that didn't pan out. I think it might have had a little bit to do with, with Napoli also playing really well. Because starting to bug some people that, you know, Napoli go and beat Liverpool. People are like, well, that's the worst Liverpool have ever played. And now, you know, tonight they, they, they come within yeah. seconds of, of beating Paris Saint-Germain. And yeah, but, oh, it's Paris Saint-Germain, they're terrible. They're a bunch of selfish egomaniacs. You, know, you, know, you still have to go out and play the games. I'm glad you guys are also confident. Okay. I guarantee you, Jurgen Klopp isn't sitting there planning his uh, knockout stage. He knows that he can't take anything for granted. Because, you know what, uh, they get to play Red Star Belgrade. Well, guess what? Uh, they're not the only ones playing I'm, Red Star break at Belgrade. I Napoli love, and Paris Saint-Germain get to play them too. I loved how you come out with this. <laughs> oh, they can play Ligue 1. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Well, guess what? That's half the problem. That's a huge part of the problem. Rabio has absolutely stranded today. Him and his partner in the middle of the park. And do you know why? Because in Ligue 1, they stroll around and they pass the ball and they look great and they look pretty, blah, blah, blah. When it comes to a proper team, when they play against proper teams, they disappear. They've mm. beaten one proper team that I can remember recently, and that was when they beat Barcelona a couple of years ago. Ever since then, when they play a proper side, they get beat or they draw.